I have over 100 copies of Shrek. Why? I, I have so many questions and I don't want any of them answered. What's up, Sexy? I'm Lexi, and welcome back to MK. My name is Lexi, or the Lexi Kitty, and today's fine delicacy is r slash madlads. Memes that Karen isn't allowed to watch. Well, guess what? My name is Karen, and I'm still going to watch it, Jake. Another mad blast! I approve. In Nido Text Room, Thunder. The sound of rain on wet concrete is the best sound. Don't at me. And sometimes certain rain. The sound of rain on wet concrete is the best sound. Don't at me. And then he adds him. You harbinger of mild annoyance. Please don't offer me money for my username unless you're confident you can outbid a $54 billion pharmaceutical company. Thanks. Love you. Is this guy really squatting on the Advil Twitter handle? That's some next level stuff. I came out as gay to my parents. Congratulations. Well freaking done. Good job. They seemed fine, so I thought I'd share my little achievement with you guys. Edit. Wow, this blew up. Thanks, guys. As it should. And of course, the best comment. Oh, that's gay. I sure hope it is. Can't start my Sunday without Blonde Bombshell telling me what the hell is going on. That's a bit rude. A compliment to my world. I have nothing but respect and admiration for her. And yes, she is beautiful too, which helps certainly nicer on the eye than Mar. Oh no, I'm assuming this guy is from the same news station or something. You're in for a bit of a shocker in five minutes, pal. No! I really hope Sky News like aired this on live TV. KJ Appa and Cole Sprouse when they were actually 17. KJ Appa replies, man, I would have absolutely crushed you at age 17. Crushed. Cole Sprouse, you wouldn't have even survived the weight of my wallet, bitch. My mom just printed out my tweets and put them on the fridge. This is so humiliating, I can't breathe right now. Wow, another mad lass. I, I, I'd starve. I'd just walk out of the house and starve. I'm not going near the fridge. Want to thank whoever poured baked beans all over the slide at the park and didn't clean it up. Very funny. Actually, it is kind of really freaking funny. But whoever did this, you are an incredibly impolite radish. Took a nice little spin around London today. 61. Oh, oh, uh. <laughs> Well done. May that live in your location history forever. Pakistani man steals bike from court's parking lot after getting bail in a robbery case. Mike, do you need a better definition of mad lad? He's looking right at the camera too. He knows he is screwed. We are no strangers to love. You know the, oh no, 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 I'm not doing that. No, no, what, what? Oh, the contract says I have to read it. All right, fine. You know the rules and so do I. A full commitment's what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get. Oh, oh no. My only goal is to one day have my name appear above Skip Bayless in search so that when he searches his own name, all he sees are Minecraft videos. I hope you all join me in this journey. That's freaking amazing. Please do this. Please do this, skip the tutorial. I wholeheartedly endorse this abuse of SEO. Teachers of Reddit, what's the funniest thing you've heard a student say that you unfortunately had to punish them for? Oh, it's a long one. Buckle up. I had recess duty a few years ago. A kindergarten girl came running over with another girl right after her and said, she called me the B word. When I asked the second student if she called the first student the B word, she turned to the first student and said, mother fracker doesn't start with a B. I managed to turn my laugh into a cough, but yeah, no more recess for her that day. <laughs> Edited to add, holy crap, my inbox has exploded overnight. I also received my first platinum, gold, and silver ever, so thank you. I don't think the first girl even realized Mother Fracker was a swear, so she was focused on the word bitch. The child is clearly gifted if she knows that Mother Fracker doesn't start with a B at that age. In elementary school, I was actually tricked into flicking everyone off because I didn't know what that hand gesture meant, so I just did it to the lunch ladies because my friends told me to. That was a fun day. Yeah. I was joking around on Twitter about giving the Beat Saber note blocks some legs and make them run towards you, and Bobby, the mad lad that he is, actually went ahead and made it a real thing. This is so cursed, but I love it so much. Yeah, that's... Oh man, that'd be horrifying. Oh, I'd hate that so much. It's like Star Wars meets musical head crabs. N no. Come up to the lab and see what's on the slab. I see you shiver with anticipation. Chook. Five months for someone to do the payoff for this joke. I set a calendar reminder for it. Nice. Again, True Mad Lad Forum is just pure dedication to a joke. And I love it. Oh my God, I'm such a big fan of Justin Bieber. I listen to all of his songs. I love Justin Bieber. Really? No. The hero we need, but not the hero we deserve. A duck spinning to Geometry Dash practice mode song for 10 hours. 
I actually went and looked this video up. This video is already up to 750,000 views. Like this has become an actual thing. Internet, I will always be impressed with you. Do not vote. 1,225 votes. Um, these are the same mad lads that were disliking that video earlier. I bet you 100% of them voted for vote. Simp, say in the reply only simp on this comment, please. Sump, sippy. Oh, come on, we could have had more. We have soup, slug, sup, soon, tsunami, skip, slick, snap, snack. The possibilities are endless. I'm toxic as frack. I'll ruin your life and then play victim. What is my sign? I, uh, I think that's a sign of mental illness. <laughs> I'm so glad we had a mad lad to call out this clearly drama-laden passive-aggressive post. I love when people in brand new cars worth $40,000 want to play Road Rage with me and my $1,200 piece of crap. Mother fracker, I will kill us both. We have a saying in New York City, never get in the way of a car that is in desperate need of extensive bodywork. I wrote a 24-episode, 900-page screenplay of The Office Season 10 during quarantine, available at theofficefanfic.com. You know, I was feeling productive during quarantine. I felt like I was doing okay, and now I just feel very, very inadequate. My father was extremely close with his paternal grandmother. She had raised him at a very trying time in his childhood. She died when he was in his late 30s. At her funeral, my dad was a sobbing mess, and his stepmother told him it was rude to cry at funerals. He replied, don't worry, I won't cry at yours. This is an incredibly sad situation, but well done for actually standing up to her, because that's, that's just, that's a terrible move. Mad lads stand up for themselves, and that is something I appreciate. 89 days into the new job, they decided to let me go because they did not like that they agreed to let me work from home half the week. And older employees were now asking for the same. Had 30 monitors from a past closed company that I brought with me. VP of IT was going to buy them off me, but conveniently forgot to pay me for them. They were forcibly removed from all desks that day. Edit because people keep asking. The wing is off my S2000 and ripped off at the track week before when I spun into a safe wall. It has been repaired. All the monitors I sold a week later. Okay, as an IT person, the idea of having to procure 30 monitors in that short of order and replace them all, it gives me hives and I don't even work in help desk anymore. So this is a, this is a major mad lad move. We need like mad lad categories like hurricanes. The mad lad scale of chaos. Headline of the day, Elon Musk will need more than 10,000 missiles to nuke Mars. Wait, wait, what? Elon Musk, a verified mad lad? No problem. I, I have so many, wait, why is Elon? Wait, why, why are we nuking Mars? I don't, I missed something. 2020 just got way worse. Lucifer, the CEO of hell. Hey, is that a one-way banishment portal? Nice. I like Beezlebub say frack lol. I, I'm, I, I don't, I'm just gonna walk slowly away from this post because I have no idea what's going on. Next post. What's your favorite starter? You can choose middle stage and fully evolved forms as well as the first stage and you may choose Pikachu and Eevee as well. I'll choose whoever the frack I want. Gengar. Ah yes, the spooky pudgy toxic ghost boy. Perfectly valid. I swear if anyone posts bokeh, post bokeh. Tell the internet not to do a thing and mad lads will be right there doing it for you. So there are multiple reports of a serial killer in the area, along with reports of attacks and harassments targeting females in our wooded parks. So logically, I tried to look my cutest and walked as feminine as I could for an hour to Cooper's Gulch. No luck today, we'll try Arcata Ridgeline tomorrow. Watch a predator turn prey real quick. Mad lads, yes. Actually possibly dangerous? A little bit. I'm a little bit worried for this stunt. Like, please be safe. Lexi just wants you to come home in one piece. Man uses a Mato uniform to deliver marijuana pack in Chimani during COVID lockdown India. For those of you that don't know, Zomato, according to Google Box, is uh, another restaurant delivery food service thing. So, I mean, he got away with it, but definitely some mad lad energy and we love it. So one mad lad is going up the stairs 1000 times and another one, one man who can do it all. It takes me a century to go up the stairs and back once. I feel like I'm missing something here or this man really is just that slow. Both are entirely possible. I was playing rock, paper, scissors with the mirror and I won. No, no, destroy that mirror. That mirror is cursed. Run, run, they know. SpongeBob hexagon pants. Imagine, hot. Guys, please stop liking. I have notifications on, please stop. And that still got 21 likes. We see you, mad lads, and we appreciate your chaos. If his name starts with J, he is definitely a wicked man. I literally died for your sins, and you gone tweet this? Do not get Jesus Christ to call his dad. The tweet of God does not play, and you will be roasted. Danish government creates 
entire country in Minecraft. Users promptly blow it up and plant American flag. Okay, but my question was, were there oil blocks? That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. You've never done LSD, have you? Neither have I. Still, that made me chuckle. R slash whoosh, buddy. But yeah, I have. It's great. Everyone should try it. Mad Lad 1. R slash it's whoosh with four O's. Mad Lad reversal? You know, I could edit it, but I like that it bothers you. I calculated how many other awards you can buy for the price of the Argentium Award. Conclusion, Argentium probably isn't worth it. Man, if there was a Mad Lad who gave you Argentium on this, and if you kindly direct your gaze to the top of the post, we have a shiny Argentium Award right there. Well done, whoever did that. That's, that's, that's a lot of dedication right there. I will learn Russian only for this comment section, and one day I will come back and read everything. You should! Some stuff in Russian. Ha 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 ha, I also learn English. Imagine learning an entire language for some YouTube comments. It could be amazing, but it could also be the most disappointing thing you've ever done. Angry Karen tries to stop race car birthday parade for kids. Of course she does. Oh, and we have a sequel. We went back to Angry Karen's neighborhood with more cars. Well done. I actually read a story about this where firefighters did a birthday party for a kid. A Karen called in and complained about the sirens and such. They also went back with even more engines and more sirens and threw that kid a heck of a party. We have some Timberland boots. However, the Timberlands remind me of construction sites and that gives me the urge to trespass onto people's construction sites and look for any tools left out. What have you found? I don't know, a hammer. <laughs> I hope all those trespassing charges were worth it for that one hammer. On r slash atheism, Christianity is real. Of course this is something a mad lad would do is go straight into the heart of the beast. And of course it got immediately removed. Good job, you tried. That's a really freaking gorgeous house, wow. My boys and I went to view this house about five years ago for inspiration. We somehow convinced the agent we were 23 year old multimillionaires. The owner showed us around for about three hours and it's honestly the most amazing house I've seen. Hidden rooms, fingerprint door entry, etc. Something I've always wanted to do is go around and look at really expensive homes with a realtor. I could never afford any of them and I don't want to waste the realtor's time, but it would just be so much fun. When when I grow up, I want to be a mommy, a daddy of the house. I want to be a teacher. I want to be a mommy, a baker. I want to be a police officer, a pilot, a doctor to make everyone feel better. A taco. I fully respect whoever is going to grow up to be a taco. You, you be the absolute best taco you can. Breaking news. New photo reveals how playing games affects young people. That's that. Remember that guy that stole a hammer from the last one? That's not video games. That's a hammer. Society before versus society after change my mind. Is, is this a real, th is, is r slash band, I, you know what? I don't want to know. I don't want to know if that's real. I, I'm going to label it as satire in my mind and I'm just going to live that way. Hey, watch out. You're going to get Rick rolled. I tried to warn you. I told you. This user is the modern day digital Paul Revere. Just the Rick roll is coming. The Rick roll is coming. Hello. Can anyone help me out so my parents don't turn off my Wi-Fi data for no reason by filling out this form? My father said if I get 1,000 responses, he may change his mind. Thanks. Edit. I now have over 2,000 responses. Thank you, everyone. I will post the data on my page shortly. Edit two. Here are the results. So I actually got curious about this. So I went and I found the original user and I found the post of results. There were over 4,000 last I checked and 93.1% of parents don't turn off the Wi-Fi or internet. And I'm so proud that's not a thing anymore. Well done, Mad Lad Army. Well done on this kid for collecting a bunch of valuable data and saving their internet access. All around a good story. Just press haha -ha reaction slowly. No, honestly, exactly what I do. So I was making a single chocolate chip cookie and the recipe called for only the egg yolk. Long story short, I almost got my sister to drink a glass of egg whites. Ew, gross. Oh, that's vile. Hilarious afterwards, but vile in the moment. We sold our house in Colorado last week. New owners, who made the closing way more difficult than it needed to be, haven't changed the Nest user info and password. So until they do, I'll just keep setting the heat to 90. Oh, that would be a killer. Oh, that's terrible. Oh dear. I recently emailed a fake timer picture to Ghost Ninja. Now I'm waiting to see if he makes a video about it. I'm dumb and I don't play Fortnite, so I have no idea what this means. But please 
Please enjoy the hoax. Aw, cute squirrels. And Opie's mom apparently posted this squirrel with Merida above it. We'll take that on over to Google Translate and Merida means, uh, shit. Oh, okay. Well, that was less wholesome than expected. When he's in your mom's peach. Damn, Bagel, you got the whole squad laughing. And we got the whole squad doing your mom. Wow, okay. All right then. Mad Lad's still passing that around. And that brings us to the end of r slash Mad Lads. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you smiled at least once, go ahead and drop a like. If you're new here or haven't already subscribed to MK, go ahead and poke that red button. My name is the Lexi Kitty or Lexi. I hope you guys have an absolutely victorious day tomorrow and I'll see you guys in the next video.